hour. I am joined now by Republican Senator John Barrasso from Wyoming. He is the chairman of the Senate Republican Policy Committee. And as they might say in Wyoming, this is not your first rodeo, this inaugural. No, uh, Candy, this is actually the ninth time I'm seeing a, a different president come into office. My dad took me to John Kennedy's inauguration when I was eight. We come every time uh, Republican and Democrat because of this great country. Uh, my dad is a guy who had to quit school in ninth grade, uh, fought in the Battle of the Bulge, and spent his life pushing wheelbarrows of heavy wet cement. So we've gone from pushing cement to now in one generation pushing legislation, but we always want any president to succeed, to do well. That means America does well and Americans do well. You know, it's interesting that you mentioned that because there was a poll recently that CNN took and the, the question was, um, do you hope that President Obama's policies will fail? Republicans, 52% said yes. Uh, Dem Independents, 28% said yes. Democrats, 4%. So 52% of Republicans in this poll said they hope President Obama, Obama's policies will fail. Well, there's what do a you difference make of that? Between policies and the person. Uh, the president to me has really has a big problem with spending. He's addicted to spending and those are policies that will hurt our country long term. We need to focus on getting people back to work, focus on jobs, the economy, the debt and the spending. That's what will improve the quality of life for American families and for hardworking taxpayers. People feel they want to get value for their tax dollars, and they're not getting it now, Candy. It might be a distinction without much difference, though. If, if, if you have people saying, no, I, I want him to fail, and, and you're saying, well, it's policies. We don't like his policies. And if they go in place, certainly you don't want those policies to fail. Now, I, this is a time of divided government. We have a re-elected majority leadership in the House, and we have a re-elected president. But it's times a divided government. You can actually do big things for the country, and we have so to get our. So what big things? Well, what big thing is, is specifically? Get done? It has. We have to deal with the uh, with the debt. We're at sixteen trillion dollars. Uh, if you want to continue with a social uh, safety net, whether the good, the bad, and the ugly parts of that, you have to have a vibrant economy. You have to have growth of of the economy, but. I need to see policies that will actually do that, and we don't see them now. Uh, I spoke with David Pluff in the segment before this, and he said that he is confident that there are enough votes in the House and there are the requisite 60 votes in the Senate to pass universal background checks for gun owners and uh, uh, limiting the clips, those high-capacity magazine clips that can fire off so many rounds to 10 and under. Do you think that's so? Do you think Congress would pass a, a ban on those uh, clips with 10 or over and a universal background check? Is that going to happen? No, no, I don't think it will. And, uh, Candy, that gets beside the major issues that face American families, uh, which are jobs and the economy and at... debt and spending. That's where people are, are focused. That's the big anxiety of this country. Sure, I, I agree with you. But you ha as you know, you deal with a lot of things up there and at the White House. Mm -hmm. People in their families deal with a lot of things. And one of the things that's been out there are uh, is gun control of some sort or something that, that addresses Newtown, whether it's gun control or better access to mental health. And so the, you know the president's going to push that. Yeah, as a uh, doctor, as a doctor, I can tell you the president's essentially ignored the major issues of mental health and violence in society and in, in the media and, and video games. And he's focused so much on what may be happening at gun shows or on gun and shelves and gun, and gun stores uh, that, that I think that he is failing to try to really find a solution to the problem of the tragedy uh, of Newtown. No one wants that uh, to happen. But the legislation that he's promoting, uh, you know, David Fluff may have said they have 60 votes. Uh, I would really welcome the opportunity to have a fair and open debate on that on the floor of the United States Senate. But I don't think uh, Senator Harry Reid even brings it to the Senate floor because he has six Democrats up for election in two years in states where the president received fewer than 42 percent of the votes. And he doesn't want his Democrats to have to choose between their own constituents and the president's position. What about immigration? Seems to me that that's something in the interest of the Republican Party that you all would like to see get passed, some kind of immigration reform. Will that happen this year? You know, uh, um, I mean, I'm the, the child of, of immigrants. We, that is the history of this country. Immigration is good and important for our country. Legal immigration needs to really be modernized. Marco Rubio is working 
on that. Uh, we need to find ways. You know, we're educating so many people and then telling them to leave the country for, uh, who, are, who are from other countries. You know, go back. We don't want you here. We have issues of, of labor that we need additional labor. We need to deal with immigration, and I think we will, Candy. And, and quickly, you're on the committee that will listen to testimony from Secretary of State Clinton this week on Benghazi and what she knew about it. What else? We, we know that there was a breakdown somehow in getting appropriate security uh, to Benghazi. What else do you need to know? Well, the president promised right when this happened that, uh, that people would be brought to justice. Where is the justice? Well, they did fire. Or there were people uh, punished in, uh, at the State Department. I mean, what, what well, else do you want? Well, I mean, I've seen the videos and the surveillance cameras and the things from the, the drones. There were people, terrorists, who came into essentially U.S. territory, our embassy, our consulate, right. and murdered Americans. And that's who the president said was going to be brought to justice. So far, as of today, there are, are no suspects being questioned. Nothing is done. But is that a Secretary of State later. thing? Well, it's to ask the, her that. I want to know what lessons have been learned so that the new Secretary of State will not put people in that position again. And I want to know what she was doing. Did she give any orders? during this whole process, took a look at it from before, during, and after the attacks. Okay, and finally, what do you make of the tone of the president since the election when it comes to issues like the debt ceiling? Uh, he said that Republicans were more interested in throwing you know, the country back into recession when it's talking about gun control, saying, you know, ask, you should call people, your congressman and ask why they're against this. Is it because of the NRA? And they care about more about them than they do about first graders. What do, you, what do you make of the tone of the president at this point? The, the president, Candy, seems so fixated. He, the president seems so fixated uh, on demonizing Republicans that he is blinded to the opportunities as well as the obligations that he has to deal with the big problems of this country uh, on debt uh, and on the entitlements. And you have those same opportunities on the Republican side as well, correct? Well, I continue to want to work together. The, per the president, if he hits the reset button like he did with Russia, it's time to hit the reset button with Republicans and really look for solutions to the major problems. And divided government is the perfect time to do it, Candy. Senator John Barrasso, thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me.